Even though I may look a little old, I remember when school started. It's a great time. It's a great experience for the students. Uh, the students that are away from home from the first time, those who are coming back to, to be with their friends. Uh, and it's an exciting time and it's a busy time. And we are the third fastest growing city in Canada. The opportunities here in Oshawa are fantastic. The city of Oshawa is home to four post-secondary schools. Durham College, the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, Trent University, and Queen's University. With over 18,000 students, the city has much to offer to the learning environment. We do RMG Fridays, which is on the first Friday of the month, and that's in a music and art event. It's in the evening, and uh, so there's a cash bar, there's a band playing, and it's kind of like a social event. Music is... Uh, it's a really accessible art form and people are really interested to see. We try to have different kinds of bands all the time. We've had jazz bands, we've had hip hop, we've had indie rock, we have different things all the time. So it appeals to a really broad range. And you know, there's a lot of um, places in the community you can go see a rock band, but there's not a lot of places in the community you can go see like a jazz fusion band. Hundreds of shops are located throughout Oshawa. The city is filled with diverse cultural experiences ranging from rip fest to concerts at the General Motors Center. You know, communities are built around their downtowns. You can go uh, through our downtown core on any day and we now have 53 restaurants, um, a restaurant for every week of the year. And the culture and the food has changed. You can have everything from uh, Italian to Thai. UOIT is now bringing students to the downtown area of the city. Five locations are home to the growing school, including the renovated Regent Theatre. The UOIT is part of the urban revival of downtown. The downtown presence of UOIT has created a strong traffic flow, strong set of activities, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. The first testing and research center for cars in Canada is located at the north campus of UOIT. The Automotive Center of Excellence puts cars through a series of tests, including a climatic wind tunnel. ACE provides a research facility for our science and engineering profs to work with industry. It also provides a test bed that will allow General Motors in Oshawa to maintain and keep its quality edge. And anybody interested in the ability of structures and facilities to withstand extreme climate conditions uh, can use ACE. The schools provide not only a learning experience but also a social experience. I think one of the biggest things that students provide to one another on this campus is, is diversity. This is one of the most diverse campuses uh, in the province. We've got students not only from all over the, the province and the country, but we've got students from all over the world here speaking dozens of different languages. We've, we've got them you know, starting up clubs to embrace their respective traditions, embracing and celebrating their cultures. We've got a women's center on this campus, an LGBTQ center, an Aboriginal student center. So diversity definitely is, uh, is, a, is a big deal here and it's, it's something to be proud of. For more than 40 years, Durham College has called Oshawa home. We're going to have the talent, we're going to have the educated workforce, we're going to have the people that are going to drive that change in the future. They're going to help, to help uh, Oshawa to continue to grow as a community and that's going to be a very important role for the college and, and, and the students who graduate and, and go on to live their lives in this area. And this community provides a, a great campus, a safe community to live in, uh, great employment opportunities, placement opportunities and it's a wonderful place to live. The Oshawa campus continues to transform with its new student service building and is also becoming more sustainable. The college has also taken a new and active role in demonstrating sustainable practices, demonstrating green practices. We believe that as a college we should be doing our part to reduce waste, to, uh, to run our operations more energy efficient, and uh, that we believe as an organization that we have to demonstrate sustainable practices so that those who graduate here understand what it means to, um, to have a greener economy. The City of Oshawa and school campuses offer a range of activities for students. There are so many opportunities for you to get involved. That would be my biggest piece of advice. Get involved. If you're living in residence, get to know your RA. There are a number of events that take place in res, whether it's res fest or midnight skating. Join a club. Check out the essays website. There's over 60 of them. If there's a club there that you, you'd like to join, I mean, go for it. If there's something that you'd like to start, there's the resources there to do it. Varsity sports, whether you, you join a varsity team or even just come out to the games to cheer on, they can be a lot of fun. I'd also say 
check out the city. There are so many things going on around the city of Oshawa as well. Downtown Oshawa is flourishing with brand new businesses. I mean, some of my favorite restaurants are downtown now. There's a number of recreation centers throughout the city. Legends is, is not too far away from the North Oshawa campus, which is a library, skating pads, uh, a pool. So definitely take advantage of those opportunities as well. In 2010, Trent found a new location to call home at its newly built campus on Thornton Road, allowing for more programs to be taught, ranging from psychology to business. Trent has been uh, delivering programs in the Oshawa area for 38 years now, and up until two years ago, we were using space at Durham College in OIT. Um, so our identity was kind of hidden within the other institutions and moving to our own campus now you know we, we have a physical presence in the community um, our students are now sort of all together in one facility and uh, it's really added to the student life students from Trent University had the opportunity to dig up Oshawa's history at the grounds of the Oshawa Community Museum and Archives uh, the students were down on the grounds of the museum um, excavating around the buildings, looking for artifacts for about two weeks. The students had a great activity, you know, following standard protocols for, for doing excavations, recording what they found. The bones that they found showed that they ate beef as opposed to, to relying on, on sort of local, locally harvested food sources. More help will be available at the Lake Ridge Health Oshawa Hospital as classes from Queen's University Medical Program join the team. The importance or significance of having the Learn Center at Lake Ridge Health is that being the largest hospital in Durham region, it's, it provides the hub for healthcare education and research, not only for the students, for the teachers, for the staff, for the physicians, but also for the community. We want the physicians learning to be family doctors to come here for the entire two years and that means that they spend the two years in the community they know our community and there's good data to show that when doctors do the training in a community there's a it's more likely that they're going to stay and work in the community and, and choose to live here the latest technology will be available for students at lake ridge health to achieve the best learning experience simulation technology where we're actually able to recreate a patient and a, and a uh, a clinical situation and we're able to bring not only one person but an entire team to try to solve a problem with that patient. Whether you are a new student or have lived in Oshawa for several years, this is your home. Being friendly, reducing noise, clearing snow off your sidewalk and being a responsible pet owner will keep your neighborhood clean and neighbors as well as yourself happy. Uh, students uh, enrich the life of the community. They bring to the community um, an optimism, uh, they bring youth, they bring excitement, they bring uh, skills and talents and, and they bring our future. Patients know that they are a contributing factor to where we're going to be heading in the future. We will need a future workforce and if they played even a little part in that, that they've made their mark in the world. Yeah, the, the energy is really something to see in September. We are not the automotive city um, that people refer to us around the world. We're a city that manufactures automobiles, but we're also a city where there's great opportunities for education as well. The city of Oshawa will continue to prosper and grow as students continue to call it home.